Now let us understand how we can use the values of the equilibrium constant in this formula and can predict the spontaneity of a reaction or whether the reaction is feasible or not. Let us take an example in which A moles of A changes to B moles of B. The reaction reaches to the state of equilibrium and the equilibrium constant is having a value exactly 1. Now when we place this value here, let, let, let us see what will be the value of your standard free energy. It is minus 2.303 R. Suppose the reaction is allowed to take place at 300 Kelvin. The R is R and the temperature is 300. Your log will be 1. Since log 1 is equal to 0, this whole expression will become 0. It means what? Your standard free energy value is 0. And when standard free energy value is 0, it means what? The reaction is at equilibrium. So it means what? We can easily predict where the reaction is and whether it will be spontaneous or not that can also be predicted. Let us take another example of a very similar type in which A moles of A changes to B moles of B and suppose the value of the equilibrium constant for this reaction is 10. Now let us see what will be the value of the free energy change. It will be minus 2.303 into R into 300 because temperature again let us take it is at 300 Kelvin and your log will be log 10. Now you know log 10 is 1 so it will be minus 2.303 into R into 300. So it will be 9096. It will be here minus in terms of the R in joules. So this is what your value is. And since it is negative, the value of your standard free energy is negative. This is most important. It means the reaction is spontaneous. Now, what you have to make one, one thing very clear, larger is the value of this equilibrium constant or more positive is the value of the equilibrium constant, more negative the value of this standard free, standard free energy will become and more negative is the value of the delta G naught, the more spontaneous is your reaction and it faster it will move towards your product side. We can take another example in which the value of the equilibrium constant will be less than 1. Let us understand what will be the value of the free energy change when the value of the equilibrium constant is less than 1. Suppose A moles of A changes to B moles of B and in this reaction the value of the equilibrium constant is 10 to the power minus 1 at 300 Kelvin. Now what is important to note here is that when these value, this value of the equilibrium constant is placed here, 2.303 into R into T and the value of the log equilibrium constant is 10 to the power minus 1. Let us place this value of the T temp 300 also here. It will be 2.303 R into 300 into... Now what is the value of this log 10 to the power minus 1 is? It is minus 1 into log 10 and log 10 is 1 so this whole will become minus 1 so what is minus will make this minus positive so it will be 2.303 into 300 into r and it will be what positive 9096 this much r joules since now the value of the free energy is positive we know from thermodynamics the reaction is non-spontaneous it will not move towards the product side 
it will not take place on its own it's a non spontaneous reaction because the free energy is positive so for all those reactions in which the value of the equilibrium constant is less than 1 remember the more the smaller the value is the more the positive the free energy value will become and the greater the positive value of the free energy is the lesser is the non spontaneity of the reaction